Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And let me start off by saying Happy Halloween to everybody. It is October 31st when you're watching this. So uh, Happy Halloween. Uh, I hope the, the day slash holiday treats you well. You know, I hope everybody stays safe and, uh, and has a great day. Some people's birthday is that I know actually, uh, but to others it is a um, festival it's um, you know there's just so much going on and with that being said we decided to make a special deck and bring everybody a special treat today for the Halloween holiday so let's just hop right into that deck and today we are playing trick-or-treat so trick-or-treat everybody we are going to do something a little bit different and I kind of hinted at it in the last video um, with the uh, the Witch's Brew deck, because that deck was very on flavor for what we were trying to do. And this deck, again, Trick or Treat, is very on flavor for the holiday itself. You know, Halloween, um, as all of you are, I'm sure, familiar, is uh, a day where people dress up and they go knocking door to door, uh, asking for um, candy or treats by, you know, knocking when somebody answers, they say Trick or Treat. And all the fun is had, and then you just... Continue on to the next the next place and you do that until you either are tired of walking or going from door to door. But again, it's just a lot of fun. Um, you know, mostly little kids do it. Um, you know, parents will walk around with their children. It's usually just overall a great time for everybody. It's just times that actually people can connect with. And I know some people are like, oh my gosh, the 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 you know the ghost and the devil and Satan and all that. But you know what? It's it's not about that. It is about bringing everybody together and honestly just having a good time and just giving out candy and having fun. So let's um, let's talk about this deck. Again, this is a very flavorful deck because again, we are trying to enjoy Halloween. So let's start off with, um, honestly, probably the, the coolest art in this deck uh, in regards to Halloween theme, and that is the Jack-O-Lantern. So not a very good card, but it actually does serve some purpose in this deck because uh, you know, we play uh, we play against a ton of different graveyard decks, whether or not we're trying to get rid of Delirium um, or graveyard reanimation, uh, anything like that. Jack-O-Lantern will actually serve a purpose. So it's a one-mana artifact. Um, for one mana, you can sacrifice it and exile up to a card, uh, up to one card in a graveyard, and then you get to draw a card. So it actually replaces itself, which is really, really good. And then for one mana, um, you get to exile it from your graveyard to add a mana of any color. So we're not going to even worry about that second ability. We're only playing mono black, so we don't ever need to add one mana by spending one mana. Um, but it is there. So And again, jack-o'-lantern, Halloween theme, definitely what we're trying to do. So and we are playing four copies of Thoughtseize because, again, we are playing black. We're playing kind of a weaker deck, so we have to have at least a little bit of defense. We have to be able to you know prevent our opponent from actually trying to play so this again not really halloween themed but you know it's got a cool like demon thing on it so maybe it's a guy in costume uh, or or you know or a person in costume just uh dressed up and trying to scare everybody so uh, next we have bag of holding so we can't go trick-or-treating without actually having a bag to put all of our goodies in so the bag of holding is going to fit right into this deck it does actually serve slightly a, a different purpose as well but again not the greatest card ever but it is going to be a very flavorful card that we play so let's hit on this it's a one man artifact again whenever you discard a card you get to exile that card from your graveyard and all those exiled cards actually go underneath bag of holding you for two mana and tap you get to draw a card and discard a card but then for four mana and tap you get to sacrifice bag of holding and return all cards that were exiled with the bag of holding back to our hand so um, the more cards we discard the better this is going to be so as we are going from door to door and knocking on houses and gaining and get a, getting all of our goodies and our candy and our um, our loot per se we're going to be able to bring them all back if we need to so uh, we do have two copies of shadow spear again um i was kind of looking for things that actually fit on theme here and shadow spear is kind of like one of those in-between things um, I was looking for four copies of some kind of like light or flashlight card, you know, because you are, we are walking in the dark typically whenever we're trick or treating, but shadow spear, uh, shadow spear also serves as a purpose of kind of like a walking stick in my mind. So, you know, maybe somebody's like dressed up as a, as a witch or like a, a wizard or something. 
Um, and then it's got some light on it, so it kind of does guide the way. Uh, and it does benefit us because it will give our creatures plus one plus one trample and lifelink. So I do think that is pretty important. And then again, we uh, we did put two copies of Soul Guide Lantern in, in our deck as well. One mana, uh, exile target card from a graveyard when it comes into play. And then we could sack it to exile cards from our opponent's graveyard or to uh, just to draw a card. And again, we do need a lantern or some kind of light to guide us while we are trick-or-treating. So really, really, really cool. Now, don't hate me for this one. This card in itself, I don't feel like is really on theme for halloween per se but i actually picked this on accident strictly by the art before i um before i you know actually looked at it as i was going through the cards um i was looking for cards that actually had pumpkins on them um you know there's there's some scarecrows that have pumpkins on them and stuff like that but i saw when i saw this art i i initially saw the candles and i thought okay that's kind of spooky and, and really cool but at the same time this circle in the middle along with his finger sticking up um, as I was just like scrolling through all the cards, trying to find, trying to find something to put in this deck to me that that looked like a pumpkin. And I actually thought it was a pumpkin at first. So I just immediately clicked on it. I was like, okay, I'm playing this It's too black. And then I was like, Oh, that's sign of blood. That's great. And then I looked, I was like, Oh, well, that's not a pumpkin. It just kind of looks like a pumpkin. So we're keeping it in because it's got that orangey round shape kind of that stem on top and it's got some cool candles so we are definitely leaving this in the deck and it's going to benefit us as well and we do need some removal and we do need removal that's on theme we don't want something just to destroy a creature with nothing um so we are going to play probably one of the worst removal spells i mean it it, it, it does serve its purpose but uh probably not something we actually want to play if we're trying to be competitive um but we're playing feed the swarm so feed the swarm is kind of cool for this deck specifically the flavor of it because when when children or other people come to your house on halloween to trick-or-treat you are going to be handing out candy so we are essentially feeding the swarm by putting tons of candy into their buckets um, it does destroy a creature or an enchantment and then we do lose life equal to that permanence value so at the same time it's for, to me it's very halloween flavorful because we have to spend money to buy that candy to give out. So we're doing that. We're doing exactly what this card is. It's, I, I thought it was actually pretty cool. So then let's hit on our creatures really quick and then we'll hit on the last couple cards. So we are playing four copies of Phylactery Lich, uh, one of my favorite cards. I think it's really cool. Again, this is gonna fit really well with all of our artifacts that we're playing, all of our one drop artifacts. So Phylactery Lich is a three mana, five, five, indestructible. When it enters the battlefield, you have to put a Phylactery counter on an artifact. And then you have to sacrifice this when there's no uh, artifacts that actually have Phylactery counter. So there's not a lot of cards right now in Historic that people play that really deal with artifacts. So I'm not really gonna have to try to worry about moving counters around maybe with like Ozolich or anything like that. But um, we're going to... Um, we're really playing this again because he's kind of in costume. You know, he's got his robes on. He's got his walking staff, which is kind of like reminiscent of Shadow Spear. And um, I really thought that, you know, the whole skeleton thing, the demon, uh, the zombie theme, um, very, very Halloween. I think this really fits in. Plus, I mean, it's a 5-5 five, five indestructible for three mana. So pretty cool. Um, we do have three cop, or I'm sorry, four copies of Rotting Regisar, uh, three mana, seven, six. You might be kind of wondering why i added this in because it's like this giant uh skeleton zombie dinosaur thing uh but again three mana for a seven six really good stats i put it in because um all around my area uh, i've seen a number of houses they have those giant skeletons that they sell at the store that are like 15 feet high and the eyes move and everything this to me reminded me of a giant skeleton so again um flavorful for i guess my part of where i live um, and maybe you've seen those as well online or, or anything like that again. Uh, and again, seven, six for three mana, really, really powerful. And this is one of the cards that I did feel like, uh, fit really well in with bag of holding because we do have to discard a card every turn. So we could potentially get back. And then the last creature we're playing is Phyrexian Obliterator, four mana, five, five trample. Whenever it gets dealt damage, your opponent has to sacrifice that many permanents. So, um, I put this in because you know there's always those few people in those crazy costumes they spend all year making their halloween costumes or their cosplays or, or wherever they are and you know it's there's always these crazy like 
sometimes alien type creatures or maybe you know the the aliens from the movie but to me this kind of fit on theme as well and it's a horror and you know halloween's all about scary and horror and everything like that and what halloween themed deck would would be a halloween themed deck without you know us being able to have some costumes so i did put in two copies of demonic embrace because to me um, i didn't really see wings i saw this as like a cape that you put on that actually kind of um it kind of just you know flies you around kind of like dr strange's cape you know like just controls you and just and lets you go so demonic embrace is one of our one of the pieces of our costume and then we also have the mask of grizzle brand uh three mana legendary artifact uh we get to equip it for three it gives a creature flying and lifelink all of our creatures are huge and massive so we would love for them to have flying and lifelink and if any of those creatures dies we get to pay life and draw cards and uh yeah i think it's going to be really cool we are just playing 22 lands because again we uh we curve out at four so four copies of castle locked wayne because again uh, a home is somebody's castle so we wanted that to be on theme as well and then we went and found a cool swamp with a little house in the background uh, and i made that i know that may be a church and a cemetery but again wanted it to be very halloween themed so we this as well so that was a very long-winded intro for our Halloween theme deck. I hope you actually enjoy that. I, I did like kind of putting it together. It took me a while. Um, so again, if you like the, the deck, the channel, the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all those links down below. Join the Discord. Anything you do to help beat that YouTube algorithm will help immensely. And thank you so much in advance. And again, happy Halloween. We're going to put on our costume. We're going to put on our mask. And we're going to start going door to door and see how much candy we get. So um, let's hop to it and we'll see you guys all at the wrap up. All right. I hope each and every one of you is ready to give out candy because I'm coming knocking. I'm going to trick or treat. And hopefully you're going to be able to give me some candy. Because I am looking forward to it. This is quite an interesting hand. Uh, we're going to keep. Don't know what our opponent's playing. They're playing birds. Um, so they're just playing white quest white drop, right? They're just playing. We're we're doing some questing and some white drop. Do it again. Um, I don't really care about this. Uh, again, I think we just take uh, all seed. They're on a pretty good path, though, to uh, actually get some get some damage in. All right, let's get our let's get our costume ready. Uh oh. Uh oh. We are low, low, low. All right, now opponent can really only swing with the flyers. Are you sure you want to do that? Now you must sacrifice. All right, so you are going on the no land play. This kills us. All right, let's uh I think we stay alive here. No attacks. They're not casting anything. Well played. Let's 
draw a card. So, we attack for five. Put it on this mask, and we are going to equip the mask to this. All right, I think we've I think we've uh, recovered. All right, whoo, got a uh, got a little nervous there for a second. All right, well <laughs> we have successfully trick or treated at house number one. So uh, that was an interesting deck, and, and I do think our opponent was just trying to get some quests completed, and they actually almost beat us. Uh, but luckily, because our overpowered creatures don't really cost that much, um, and we were able to gain some life, we took it down. So trick or treat. Let's go to the next game. All right, everyone. <clears throat> game two. We got to hydrate before we get to the door. Quick. We've run the doorbell. That sound, the game getting ready sound is the doorbell. All right. This would be a great hand if we got to go first. I do feel like, I mean, again, we're playing a on flavor deck for the holiday and we should be able to go first, right? Let's get our bag of holding in play. That way, in case they make us discard, we're ready. Okay. So they're on Zambies. Um. Yeah, I'd rather just, I'd rather just kill this now. I'd rather just kill. So, yeah. That has death touch. Okay, so they're just on the life. They're just on a, on a combo deck, essentially. So we're going to discard another bag of holding. Oh, uh, that was, this is a great draw, right? Take a peek. Don't care. Yeah, I probably don't want that in play. And then, yep. Go. I think they're gonna try to race us. So we're gonna see four, uh, three more vampires here. Back of 14. Rotting Registar with lifelink. Pretty sick. Okay. Ooh, we are at one. We are at one. So we can attack. Go up to eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So they maybe they block. We have to attack. So if we We do this. Don't really do anything.
I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we can really do here. I think they got us. Good game. Good game, my friend. Larry got us. Oh. This house did not have any candy for us, unfortunately. And we drew, uh, I think we drew things in the wrong order. But, pretty, still pretty good. I think we actually would have recovered had they not had that one card, so. All right, well, all we could do is move on to the next house where hopefully we see some lights on and some more candy. Two houses, one piece of candy. Not doing, uh, we're doing the average, I guess, you know, but I want to, I want to go to all the houses where all the candy is. So we're going to keep this. This looks like a pretty sweet hand. This house has a jack-o'-lantern outside, so celebrate, they're celebrating Halloween. Let's see what they're doing. All right. Opponent. Ooh, reanimator. Okay. I can get behind that. So I was going to put it on the jack o' lantern. However, um, since they're playing reanimator, I think we're probably going to have to sacrifice this jack o' lantern. So. gonna do yep oh huh well I was definitely tapped out for that that sucks Uh, I mean, I'm going to attack, even though nothing's going to happen. Uh, yeah, we need to draw a kill spell right now. care about five fives oh thank you thank you thank you thank you and I don't want to I don't want to sack this Soul Guide Lantern yet, so. But yeah, we needed that. That was huge. That was huge. Oh, good game, hers. Good game. Whoo! Trick or treat, my friend. That was almost... Uh, an unwinnable situation, but luckily we drew the card we needed to, we killed the creature we needed to, and we had backup for any kind of shenanigans they had, so good on you. Good on you. So next game, next house. Let's go. Alright, well, three houses. Three houses down. There's only four houses left on the block. We get to go first. I don't hate this hand. It's an interesting hand. I wish we had a uh, Thought Seize or any of our other one drops. 
but we do have some uh, big creatures. If this is mono red, this is actually a great hand against mono red. Oh, you're not, you're not mono red. All right. Golgari, maybe it's a Jund. Just Golgari, huh? See what happens. So I think we are gonna discard our soul. Oh, they're playing soul tie. So I think we're gonna discard the soul guy and lantern. What is? When is our opponent gonna answer the door? Come on. Probably an Alron's Epiphany. I don't think this is going to do anything against them. Also, Phylactery Lich might not be very good against them either. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? They have like a poison the cup or something crazy. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're just gonna we're just gonna slam down a bunch of obliterators against them. And hope. Hope above hopes that they don't get to ultimate a mana. And then if they start to do something crazy over there in their graveyard, we will just Soul Guide Lantern them. Gonna make a wolf. That'd be sweet. All right, two. Oh, don't like that. Uh, one of those might be a counter spell. Hmm. So maybe they're maybe both of them are sought comings, and if both of them are sought coming, I think we're fine. Nope. Okay. So the good thing about Alron's Epiphany is, I mean, just an, an empty board is not that great. Especially since we've only taken two damage, so they are going to be at... They are going to be where they need to be mana-wise for an ultimatum, potentially. I feel like these decks always run ultimatums. So I think... Oh, that was probably the best draw. Let's go and attack. Oh, beautiful. So good. So good. Yep. I think we're just gonna play this game. Yeah, I, I don't think you wanted to do that. Like, I don't think you really wanted to just fight our obliterator and then have to sacrifice uh, six things there. So, uh, whoops. But trick or treat. Trick or treat. On the next house. <laughs> that was... Oh, we just have to laugh about that while we're on the way to the next house. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Definitely don't think they... Uh read that card and this is a hand right this hand is really good if we draw a creature immediately 
So let's see what happens. What are we playing against? With this hand, what is our best matchup? Maybe Reanimator. But we're gonna see. Give him the old give him the old zombie wave. Hello. Scana Brava. Let's go. What are you playing? Ooh, elves. Elves, elves, elves. Maybe we take. We really don't have a. We don't have another play, so we let him. Ha we let him have the elf. And maybe that's wrong, but I'd rather take an elf lord and then just kill the land or elf, right? Because then they just follow that up with an elvish visionary. I mean, if they decide to to play, right? Okay, I love it. I love it. So would. All right, so they're gonna play visionary. We're gonna draw a land, hopefully. We need to. Hmm. Okay. We'll just play this. We'll we'll discard the jack o' lantern. All right, then we have to start kind of watching out. I really don't mind them chump blocking. What sucks though is um, having to get rid of the shadow spear, which I really. Give him the old wave again. All right, let's go. Okay. Um, Lantern's really not that great, so we're just going to swing in. I guess this also draws us a card. Hmm. Do we? Yeah, I think we're just going to play this. We're going to... This will preserve our life total a little bit. So we still get to we'll still get to draw a card with this. Not have to take any damage from the the castle. But again, we need our opponent to do something. Maybe they block the obliterator for some reason. Opponent. You're playing elves. Like this is not, not difficult. I've never actually seen elves play uh, Kian before. The Dean of Substance. Beast Whisper is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. I wonder if they just quit. I wonder if they just. Oh no, they're fine. What? No, you don't want to block that. Okay. So they are blocking um, with their mana creatures, which is good for us. So if we draw here, we actually lose it to the discard. So, we're... yep, you drew two. That is really scary. Um, no blocks.
That was a huge draw because now they're forced to block with the they're forced to block the obliterator. So they're going to lose two permanents. Not a huge deal, but they have to block now. Because we have exactly 15 damage coming through. Uh, the Rotting Registrar is going to come through no matter what. So they are looking at five on the ground. Um, it does have Trample. Um, so they have to block at least one. They're going to deal at least one damage to the Obliterator. Trick or treat. I mean, every time they rope, we're just going to wave, right? If it gets down to zero, the game is over. Because they have no extensions. All right, game over. All right, well, I'm sorry that, you know... We had to win that way, but I think our opponent might have just been on a spotty connection, potentially, because uh, of how slow they were playing that entire game. But you know what? Again, trick or treat. Thanks for the candy. On to the next half. <clears throat> trick or treat. Mel my feet. Wasn't give me something good to eat. Yes. Be kind. Rewind. All right, we get to Pumpkin Lich, so happy about that. Opponent's like, what? Jack-o'-lantern? Oh. And what a beautiful deck for us to be playing these against. What? You, you didn't want to block? They can't really reanimate with only two mana. Can't really reanimate with three mana either. They're about to have to block here, so... Sure. Block the, block the obliterator. I think what we do is I don't even care about thought seizing them. Let me look at their. Group. Yeah, I don't I don't care about thought seizing them. I just care about getting down. Uh, I should have put it on the other jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, we just, uh, I mean, we just got in there before they could do anything. So that was actually a pretty, um, pretty commanding win, I feel like. So, well, good game. Let's go. I only have one more house left to knock. So, let's go. Now, if you made it this far into the video... Let's talk for a second about a great old classic mini movie, Michael Jackson's Ghosts. I don't know if you've seen it. Hopefully you have. If not, you should check it out. And that's what I'm picturing this last house be, right? It's this crazy giant mansion on the top of a hill. really care about five downs right so 
No peers. Aha, that's your that's your downfall, my friend. Didn't counter the jack o' lantern. You should have. Uh, hmm. This is tough, right? Like, I don't know if I want to start discarding cards yet. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't know if uh if I would have count or if I would have uh played that out like that. I would have mutated after that flipped. Well, good game. And what there's a surprise though. We got to this house. And over in the distance we can see another house. So let's go. But yeah, no, in reality, Michael Jackson's Ghosts was a classic, uh, I think. Came out in like the mid-90s. Um, he had a lot of Halloween-related stuff. A thriller, Blood on the Dance Floor, I feel like, was a little bit related there. Um, obviously, the song Ghosts was the main focus of that short. But let's see. Yeah, we're going to keep... One, two, three, four. I mean, we didn't even rearrange any of the cards in our hand. Okay, feed the swarm. Like it. Oh. Oh. Everywhere. Got it. Either way, it's bad, right? Either way, it's bad. creature is it under your control or your control okay um so i don't want to i don't want to feed the swarm either one of those i want them just to slam this scurry oak and then we're going to feed the swarm it I mean, do okay so they definitely need heliod maybe yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna play this first I, it might be weird i'm gonna play that first though okay oh they had another one okay Are we going to discard? Okay, well. I mean, they'll take seven here, go to 23. Yeah, we really need to... Ilya doesn't just end the game this turn. All right, well, um, I don't know why you conceded. it. You were at 23. But you know what? We get to combine that last game with this game in, in regards to time. And, yeah, I mean, this was our bonus game because of that quick concession. We just happened to get two concessions in a row. So, all right, well, our deck did some cool things. Pretty happy with it. Very on flavor. So let's uh, let's gather up all our candy. Let's head home, and we'll talk about it at the wrap up when we get back. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap up, and that was really really fun. Um, we did have a couple uh, quick concessions there at the end, unfortunately, but um, you know we did get a bonus game in because of it, and unfortunately it did you know lead to another 
quick concession, but we did manage to get eight games in and we only lost one of them. So yeah, um, really fun. Uh, again, we played some weird decks. We got some good draws. Uh, my favorite game, honestly, was probably against that reanimator deck where we actually drew that Feed the Swarm and had to spend seven life to kill um, their Sarah's Emissary. Uh, and, you know, having all of these cards in play um, to deal with graveyards um, was a great idea, and I'm glad they actually panned out. But, um, yeah, creatures, uh, these creatures are really, really powerful because they're so cheap. Obviously, they, they have drawbacks except for the Phyrexian Obliterator. That, that card is just insane. I mean, that's why it is a mythic. But Rotting Registrar, three mana for a 7-6. Ridiculous. Phylactery Lich as a 5-5 five five for three mana is really ridiculous. Um, you know, bad drawback there. But again, I think typically if you're going to play Phylactery Lich, you should play Ozolith. And then, because with Ozolith, the, you put the counter on the Ozolith. And then the counter, at, when the uh, combat starts, goes right onto the Phylactery Lich because Ozolith moves counters. And then they just have to deal with the Ozolith themselves. Yeah, and there are ways to exile, but, you know, no big deal. Uh, I think everything in here was very flavorful. Um, I did enjoy it. Obviously, playing so many one-drop artifacts is probably not ideal, but we do have to play those with the Lich. Um, but, again, this is a special, this was a special treat. Very, uh, very Halloween, Halloween-themed uh, deck, being able to play jack-o'-lanterns and, you know, masks and costumes and, and uh, bags to put our candy in and lights to lead the way and skeletons and zombies. And um, I, I wish that YouTube would have allowed us to, you know, have some Halloween themed music playing in the background, like, you know, actual like licensed music. So maybe we could have listened to like Thriller or Ghostbusters or um, or the songs from Nightmare on uh, Nightmare Before Christmas or. Uh, anything like that it, that would have really been really fun but obviously we don't want to get like crazy copyright strikes and our videos taken down but uh this deck was a lot of fun i don't really suggest building this this is this was just for fun uh so please do not just go build this deck uh, there are way better ways to build this but again it was fun i'm glad we did it and i mean happy halloween everyone i really hope that uh, you all stay safe tonight uh, you know, if you're watching this before, it's actually time to go out and trick or treat with yourself or with your kids um, or with your friends. So, um, yeah, please, please stay safe. Don't do anything crazy. Again, it's a night to uh, it's a it's a day really just to have fun. Just, uh, you know, kind of escape reality, uh, so to speak. But, yeah, everybody, please, again, if you enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, check out all those cool uh, links down below. Join the discord. Help us battle the YouTube algorithm demon monster zombie skeleton thing that we are always trying to defeat uh, share the video hit the bell icon i'm just going to keep saying things to do and hopefully you do all of them but i'm not your dad you do whatever you got to do but again please 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 stay safe on this halloween night don't let your cats out tonight we will see you next time happy halloween trick-or-treat